Hey guys, Andrew Wilson here with Team Endurance and Team Imperium Outfitters. We're going to do a lure rigging today on this Imperium Outfitters Beluga S5. It's in the Deadpool color, red head, black and red skirt over black skirt. My personal favorite when it comes to marlin baits. And 1,200 pound cable. Got our copper crimps here for the cable. Got our aluminum crimps here. Got our 300 pound Mamoy high catch hard mono extra hard mono 300 pound it's my favorite rig for this size bait if you go too heavy a leader you start losing swimming action and if you do a full stiff rig like this that doesn't bend it actually takes away from the action of the lure and this one is plenty plenty stiff keeps your hook upright prevents toothy critters from biting your hook off wahoo will eat this bait Barracudas will grab it, which is annoying, but it keeps you from losing your hook and having to re-rig every fish. You know, if I get a big marlin on a bait, I will re-rig the bait. That's why I have a lot of extra stiff rigs. I have them already crimped on a leader, so I can just swap the leader out. So let's get started. I've got this big handy bench swedger here to my right side. And on cable, you actually crimp the complete crimp. On mono, you don't want to do that, or fluorocarbon, because it, it will partially cut the leader. What we're going to do is pull that down tight to the hook eye. And crimp it tight, because we're doing a stiff rig, so we don't want a big loop there. And then to measure it, We've got the stoppers already glued on all the lure heads, on all the bigger size baits. Keep it IGF illegal. Lay your hook at the back of your skirt. Mark it at the stopper. To cut this big cable, you can't use the, the cutters on your uh, hand crimpers. It doesn't cut it very clean. Same thing on this end. You're going to want to leave a loop about that big. That way your chafe gear fits in it. That goes on your leader. For chafe gear, I don't do anything real fancy. I just use the, the plastic coated stainless. One thing that's real important on your stiff rig is to heat shrink over this. You can use electrical tape. I prefer heat shrink because it doesn't come off. So you just make sure your hook's lined up. Slide the heat shrink over. Torch comes in real handy. This is just a, a torch cigar lighter. If you don't need an expensive fancy setup, you can use just your regular old Bic lighter. This just works a lot faster. You're gonna to wanna to let that cool before you rig it. That way you don't have your uh, heat shrink crooked. And I've already got some here made up so we can finish rigging this lure. So we've got our lure. I always take and just run the leader through like that. Give yourself some slack crimp, chafe gear, slide your stiff rig on, pull you some slack through, make it easy on yourself. Melt the end of your leader, your tag end a little bit, give yourself a little bubble on there. Pull that down tight. Make sure you don't have something to hang up on anything. Cut your hand when you get in a hurry. It's really important on the top end because a heavy mono tag end will go right through a glove. You pull it down tight, and when you crimp it on mono, you don't want to crimp the ends of the crimp because it can cut your leader. 
I leave about an eighth inch on each end of the crimp. Pull your crimp into the stopper, and if you look with how it's laying right now, the hook's pointed down. To me, that's a, a no-go. I want that hook facing up, and the top of the billfish's jaw is the strongest part. So all the lures are, the beluga, the jet goes up. All the other lures, they have a dot because they're keel weighted. And that'll keep your hook upright where you want it for good hook placement. It's right inside the end of the skirt. Keep it IGFA legal. Which if you're not worried about IGFA, which I'm not, that's just how I've always rigged baits. You can run it back a little bit. I don't run a double hook setup because they're dangerous for the fish and they're da really dangerous for the mate. And I was a mate for a long time. So I don't like seeing people get hurt. Same thing on this end. Little bubble on your tag end. Pull it up tight. There's your crimp, you're ready to fish. I only run about a 12 foot leader because I run a big wind on and it works for me. If anybody's got any questions, comment below. Thank you.